Hey everybody, I haven't done a what sold video in a while. I always say that, but I went to California for a couple days to see some relatives and I'm back. And I spent a couple days listing things like crazy. And so I thought, I'm going to show you some things I've sold. I've sold a ton of Stampin' Up! things, but I'm not going to like show them on here. But lately I noticed the things I've been selling are things I've picked up at the Goodwill bins. I haven't been to the Goodwill bins for like about a month because I have so much other inventory I picked up at yard sales. But the things that have sold, I've noticed, have been from the Goodwill bins. I need to make a trip out there. If it wasn't like a half an hour away, I don't know, it's really not that far away. But I find some really cool things. Um, so let me show you what I have sold. Let me go to my find the page. This Weaver State University Wildcat shirt sold for $19.99. That was from the Goodwill bins. And they charge um that's a dollar forty nine a pound. Wait, is it dollar forty nine or dollar ninety nine? Whatever. The shirt was pretty light. So Weaver State is a college here, about ten minutes from my house. Actually my son who just graduated from High school is going to be going there, so yeah, usually universities and colleges, that stuff goes pretty good. This NFL Detroit Lions hoodie sweatshirt just sold for $24.99. Now this was a cool find. These Olive Garden cups, they were in a little baggie in the hard, hardware goods. Um, there are four Olive Garden cups, just went for $39.99, and they were super um, light. I like fun things like that. Now this gambling punch board, cherry, it's like factory sold, but it's vintage. I got a ton of these for $3 a piece at my local auction. Um, I'm actually going to show you these because I haven't showed you these from my Stampin' Ups. These are like little tiny um, packages of gems and sequins. It comes with little 550 pieces. It was unopened. That went for $18.88. Okay, let me scroll down and pass all the Stampin' Up stuff because that gets boring. A ton of them. Okay, these Family Guys um, boxers, they weren't in the package, but they still had like a little tag still attached. Um, that was from the Goodwill bins. People were like throwing them aside. I think they're afraid to sell underwear, but I feel like if they still have, they're not in the package, but they still kind of have the store tag attached, they'll go. Um, these were two pairs, super lightweight. They were the nylon filling kind, went for $16.98, super lightweight. They, I think they were three ounces or four ounces, super cheap to ship. Now this um, little foot dinosaur from Land Before Time, uh, that was like from the 90s. Um, that was from the Goodwill bins too, $16.18 that went for. Okay, Wendy's Kids Mill. Now, when I do um, my live auctions with uh, Robert's Ride Along, I'm going to be selling some little bags of Kids Mill toys, just random bags, because I got so many of them. I, I won like two huge buckets full, not one. I bought two huge gigantic buckets full at a thrift store. It's like the landfill thrift store down the street here for 20 bucks a piece. It's just too much to go through. Um, and I'm just doing like $5 a bag with random um, Kids Mill toys. But, like, check it out. Wendy's Kids Mill Toys. They're called Airy Indiana Locker Eyeballs Pyramids. Three packages, $25.20. That went for. And then I just sold one. Did I pass it up? I think I just passed it up. Because I just sold one Kids Mill toy for $12.99. It was a little skateboard. Yeah, I sold a vintage 2000 the year 2000 McDonald's Happy Meal fingerboard for $12.99. So yeah, pick those up. I'm going to do like a bag of like five Kids Mill toys for $5. So if you, sorry, my eyes are changing. If you, if you see those, um, I'm just going to throw some in. Okay, what else did I sell? I'm passing up the, it's been a little bit. I think this is like from the past week. I'm just doing like Things that aren't stamping up stuff. Okay. I sold this Adidas Star Wars t-shirt men's Darth Vader. Goodwill bins for $20.68. Yeah, things just happen to be all Goodwill bins things. So this was actually from this jazz. It's a Utah jazz calendar. 
um, came with a huge lot I bought from my local auction. I got tons and tons and tons of Utah Jazz items. I think the whole lot of stuff cost me $5, so this didn't cost me hardly anything. So I sold this calendar for $16.18. I think people just like the photos in them. So this is another little kids mill toy. It's a Burger King Cubit, Cubix robot. Um, still in its package for $9.80. So that's it for eBay. Now Poshmark. Let me go down. Find my Poshmark items. Cause it's funny because this past week, usually I don't sell much on Poshmark. But lately, where'd my page go? Um, lately, I've been selling some things and people are just buying them without even asking me for an offer. And maybe people have been getting their tax returns and just feel like buying things. <laughs> so, I don't know. These New With Tag Comfort Dress, dress Pants, um, now they take, the buyer pays shipping and so and it but they take 20 percent so after the 20 percent let me go back in these sold for 16 dollars and my profit was 12 dollars and 80 cents and these were new with tag pants the comfort dress pants i got from the goodwill bins these probably cost a little bit more because they're i think they were a little bit more heavier these frog togs pro actions they were in a bag and these are super 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 light you just put them over your like I think the water resistant you put them over your pants um, those were in Goodwill bins too I sold those for ten dollars so I think my profit let's see let me go in my profit was seven dollars and five cents like, oh yeah that's right they take thirty percent these free people pants new with tag I actually got it Indy Clover I've talked about that store in my past videos um, it's a secondhand store but women rent out booths and sell their items I got these for five dollars so my profit was twenty one sixty I sold them for twenty seven dollars okay um, these Levi jeans I got a fill a bag last summer tons and tons of items in the fill a bag <clears throat> I thought these Levi jeans because they look kind of older to me I thought they'd go for a lot more but they didn't I lowered the price. They sold for 11. My profit was eight dollars and five cents. I think they probably cost me about 50 cents or something. These um, new with tag Dickies pants I got at my local auction. They were two dollars and fifty cents. Um, sold for 12. My profit was 9.05. Not a huge markup, but these new with tag Reebok shoes. Um, sold for $32. My profit was $25.60 and I got these at Indie Clover, that little secondhand consignment store. <clears throat> I got these for $10. But that, these are some really cute shoes. I find a lot of brand new items at that store. Let's see, and that's it. Oh no, one more item. Um, this Banana Republic Three Piece Lounge where it said I got it at Indie Clover, $10. Um, I had it for hire, but someone offered me, they did offer me $29. My profit was $23.20. I didn't have it up for long, but I just wanted to move inventory. Um, yeah, my profit was $23.20. And I did buy that for 10 at Indy Clover. And I guess I did sell some more items. This Lightning Bolt Z by Zara, I did get at Indy Clover. And it's super lightweight. It's like a silky shirt. Um, that was... Did I say any clever? No, I got this at the Goodwill bins. Um, so for 19 and my profit was 15.20. So that's it. Yes. That. Yes, that is it. That is my sales for the past week. So I hope everyone's doing good. Um, I don't want to just say, oh, that's what I sold. Bye. See you. Uh, I did a auction, a live auction with Big Bro. Didn't really sell much, but you know I enjoy doing those. I'm gonna see if maybe I'm gonna maybe do one with Robert in the next couple of weeks because I have a lot of inventory to move. Maybe I'll start doing my own live auction by myself. Um, and see if someone else wants to join me. But yeah, I enjoy, enjoy doing live auctions, and I'm not brave enough to I think do one by myself, but maybe I'll try it. It's hard to do something for the first time when you haven't done one before but you know you gotta you just gotta try things and once you do it I think you get confidence and eventually 
you'll enjoy doing it after you do it for the first time. But yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fun watching your guys' videos. I always learn something and it looks like yard sale season's up for everyone. Our weather's been kind of weird. It's like raining today and feels cold, but I think this next Saturday should be warm again and yeah. I'm gonna try I'm feel tired. I have a lot of inventory. My friend I should make a video of my friend gave me a ton of stuff a couple weeks ago and she just gave me a ton more stuff just to have and I got lucky with that. Um, who doesn't like free things just to sell? I, I don't even know what's in all the bags. I should just do a like a box opening or bag opening and just show you what she gave me because she has a lot of really nice things but I should just go through it today and just start listing but I, I just feel a little tired. I, I ran a bunch of errands and I'm an, I shouldn't use this excuse, but I'm an empath, and sometimes people's energy gets on me, and I get tired. If people are really mean or rude to me, I, I don't know what it is. I saw this lady in public today that I know, and no matter how nice I am, she, in the past she's always been rude to me. I'm just always, hey, how are you? And she just rolls her eyes at me and is rude to me, and it wears on me and makes me sad, and like people's energy I don't know what it is but if I go out public and I feel negative energy or rudeness then I'm like down the rest of the day and it's hard for me to just I don't I can't explain it if you guys can make comments and if you feel the same way it, it'll make me feel better but I just I have a hard time with negative energy and I have a hard time working and doing something the rest of the day or being happy the rest of the day when people's negative energy is put on me. I shouldn't be that way, but for the most part, I really am a really kind person. I try to go out of my way and be kind to people. I take an older lady out, and she took um, I run errands, and we went out to eat, and it was super busy in the restaurant, and I could tell the waitress, because it's graduation week, and I could tell she was having a hard time. I asked her, I said, man, it's so busy. She goes, yeah, and we're understaffed, and people are being really rude, and I just felt so sorry for her. And she says, and people aren't really leaving tips because we're understaffed. And see, and I'm a nice person. It's like, I don't have a super ton of money, but I just gave her a bigger tip because I felt bad for her because people aren't leaving her tips. And then after that, that lady was rude to me. I was like, what about karma? Like, sometimes I feel like when you're super nice and you got a way to be nice to people, shouldn't, like good things happen to you <laughs> sometimes I just feel like I just try to be so nice and go out of my way for people and I'm just treated rude all the time but maybe that happens to everybody maybe that's we just live in a horrible evil world right now and but it just drains me and so like I came home and I just looked around like I'll just make a video and I shouldn't have went on this rant but sometimes it helps to like just rant and just voice your opinion it's a relief, but yeah, that's why I like doing these videos, because I can just share my sh share my opinions and voice, and maybe other people feel the same way. Thanks for listening, but I'll, maybe I'll go watch a little TV show, and then I'll, it's only 2 o'clock here in Utah, and I'll start listing some things later and feel happy. Maybe it doesn't help that I watch so much of crime TV. I love crime shows. <laughs> maybe I should watch more positive shows. Maybe that doesn't help my energy either, but, you know, I can't help myself. Anyways, hope you have a good day, and, you know, I love working from home. I am blessed with that. I, at least I live in a country where we can, I'm safe, and I'm not in a country where my life's at stake, and I am blessed in a lot of ways. I have a roof over my head, food to eat, and I think about that every day, so I'll stop being negative. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.